everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today in this video I am going to show you how to make Rachel's flower poncho. Now this was a poncho I made specifically for my daughter so she's also showing it off in the lookbook and of course here in this video. I really loved making it for her although it turned out to be a little bit too big which I will show you how to reduce the neck opening in the next video. So for this poncho you will need King Cole Cotton Soft. I made it in a cotton which is lovely to wear in the summer. This one is the colour Fudge. It's one of my favourite colours and I used three balls. So two balls for the actual poncho and nearly a whole ball for the tassels. But I think the tassels make um, the poncho because they will make sure that the fabric hangs down a bit which you know by the weight which it needs to show off the flowers in the fabric and then of course this is a DK so you need a hook for DK I always use a three and a half for DK it is prescribed for a four hook so see what you usually use for DK and use that hook then of course you need your darning needle and your scissors and here I have ready of course my little chocolates box which gives me a revolution of 12 inches or 30 centimeters for the tassels and of course my scissors so I can cut off lots of strands in one go when I am rolling it around the box for my tassels. So let's get started on the square. So we are going to make a slip knot so make yours whichever way you usually make it. Insert your hook three and a half and I'm going to chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Then you go back to your first chain, you try pick up one on this side, two on the other there and you do a slip stitch so you bring through the working yarn and you bring it through the loop on your hook. There we go. So now round two, you're going to chain 12, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then you go back to your circle and you do a single crochet around the chain. There we go. And this you're going to repeat eleven times in total, so you have eleven loops. So let's do that. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve and a single crochet into the circle. I will see you when I have eleven loops. So I have now done my eleven petals, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But really we need twelve. But if we did the twelfth one the same way, we'd end here near our circle and we really need to end at the top. So we're going to do the twelfth one slightly different. So we're going to chain six, one, two, three, four, five and six. So this really is where we are going to be ending. So that's where we need to be for our next round but of course we have to finish this petal here so we're going to do a double treble so we're going to yarn over one oh, <laughs> two three don't get caught in your other petals then we go around the chain and we are going to start doing our pull throughs so yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, until you've made it back to the top there. And that is where we are going to finish. So there we go. We now have our round two finished where we have made 12 loops or 12 petals. We are now in the ideal location to start round three. And round three is where we are going to do chain five, one, two, three, four and five. Then we go to the next petal and we do a single crochet there. One, two, three, four, 
five and go to the next petal. And we are going to repeat this 11 times. But we need to do this 12 times. And just like before, if we were to do this 12 times like this, we would be in the wrong location. So I will meet you when I have done this 11 times. And then I will show you how to do the last loop to finish the round. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet around the next petal. So I have now done this chain five, sink crochet around the next petal 11 times. If I was to do it a 12th time, I would be in here, which would be the wrong location for starting round four. So to finish round three, we are going to do three chains, one, two, and three. Then we are going to do a double crochet into here. So make sure you pick up enough strands so that when you pull it, it doesn't stretch, so this should be okay. So you do your double crochet, and now you're in the middle of that chain there, and that's the best location for you to finish this round. So now from here on, we are going to start round four, and in round four, we are chaining six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, then, you go to the next chain space and you do a single crochet in the middle of it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And a single crochet around the middle of the next chain space. Two, three, four, five, six. And once again, we are doing this 11 times. And I will be back to show you how to do the last one. One, two, three, four, five six single crochet around the next chain space so i have now done this chain six eleven times if i was to do it a 12th time i would end up here but that means i'm in the wrong position for the next round so i'm going to do three chains one two and three and this time i'm going to do a treble so yarn over twice and into this location here let's see if i can pick up enough strands so it doesn't expand there we go and then we are on to round five now round five is where we are going to square up our work so at the moment we still have a circle and we're going to square it up so when you do your first square you do the whole of round five so I will do that with you in a moment when you are then doing your next square round five is the round where you're going to adhere to the other squares okay so let me show you how to do round five just so you know how to finish your square. First of all, we are going to do chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we go to the next chain space and we do a single crochet. We repeat that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Into the next chain space to make a single crochet. So this is going to be your side. Now we have to do a corner. The corner is made up of 10 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And then you do a single crochet in the next chain space. So look, see, can you see? This is your side, this is your corner. It will all work out. <laughs> now we repeat that so we do two lots of six chains and then one of ten chains one two three four five and six single crochet around the next chain space one two three four five and six single crochet around the next chain space one two three four 
six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Single crochet around the next chain space. And let me just show you, put it down. Look how it is squaring up. Okay, so as you can see, look, we've got a side here, corner here, side and a corner. So I'm now going to finish my round and I will be back. So I have done my four sides, three corners. I've just done a chain 10 here and now we are going to finish the round by going in here and doing a slip stitch. There we go. So this is your first square done and this is the square of course where you're doing all five rounds and in a moment the next square you're going to do you're going to use that last round to start adhering. So this is finished. There we go. So let me now do a second square and then I'll show you how to adhere. So I have just finished round four and now I'm going to start round five. But of course, this time I'm going to adhere to the previous square. So I'm going to get started with doing my chain six, three, four, five and six. And go into the next chain space one two three four five and six so we'll only be adhering one side so i'm going to do a couple of sides before we actually adhere so four five six seven eight nine and ten so we're making the corner there we go so i've done one side and I'm going to do a second. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's my second side done. Now for my second corner, I'm going to do five chains. One, two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to take my previous square. I'm going to Go into the square, bring the yarn around and do a chain. Then I'm going to do another five chains. One, two, three, four, five, because of course I need to do ten for my corner. Then I do a single crochet in the next chain on my current square. Then I'm going to do three chains. One, two and three then i go over to my previous square go into the loop there bring back the yarn do a chain one two and three go back to my current square and do my single crochet so really you are still doing what you are doing on your current square but you are halving your chains and then going into the previous square and do a chain, then into the previous square and do a chain like that. So you adhere each time. So now another lot of six. So one, two and three. Go over to the previous square. Do your chain. If it wants to, there we go. Then <laughs> one, two and three back to your current square to do your single crochet okay so i've now done my corner one two lots of six and now another corner so one two three four and five go into the next corner here to do your little chain there we go and then another five one two three four and five and you go to the next chain space. There we go. Voila, we have two squares that are attached. Of course, now here, we still have to finish our round five. Okay, so we've started here. So I now have to do this side and then a corner to finish here. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five and six. 
missing crochet one two three four five and six single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and we go to the middle of the next loop here which of course is where these meet so we go in there and we do a slip stitch to close the round there we go so we now have two squares which have been attached so now you're going to add another square on here then you start with adding it onto here and i will be back to show you how to add a square when you have to adhere two sides <laughs> So you make your first square, then you adhere the second one and the third one to that. Then you adhere the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one. Then once again, a new row, seven, eight, and then nine. Now here, these, this, this, and this are all just one side that you had to adhere. Here we have two sides. So I'm going to show you here how to do two sides and then really you have the technique for both adherences or whatever you call that. <laughs> so I have here my square. I've just finished round four. I'm now doing round five. So that means chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet in the next chain. And I do that again. One, two, three, four, five six and so we've done a side now we do a corner of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. so that means we've got one side and one corner done because of course look if we adhere it like this then we've got this done here Oh my goodness, it doesn't fit in the frame. <laughs> and so once we get here, we will adhere. And then here we will finish the round. So that is easy once we have adhered that last bit. We have also finished the square. So I'm going to do this side. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And so now... I've done the side, now I'm ready to do the corner, but of course this is the corner that we are going to be connecting. So we have to start doing halves. One, two, three, four, five. Connect into there. One, two, three, four and five. Make sure nothing gets twisted in there. One, two, three. So do you see what I am doing? Look. So now connect into there. One, two, and three. Connect back onto our current square. One, two, three, into the next chain loop there. One, two, three, to the next one. And now we do the corner one. One, two, three, four, five. And now here we have to adhere. But of course, this is where all kinds of squares meet. So we have three squares meet. If we haven't got this one, we have three, we have two squares meet. So you just need to find a location to go into. And I always try to go diagonally to from where I'm coming. So there would be a little bit more sturdiness. So hopefully we can find that location. So let's see. Mm, in here I'm going to go. There we go. Just anywhere where you think it will be okay. There we go. So another five. One, two, three, 
4 and 5. Then you go to your current square for your single crochet, then 1, 2, 3. And then, of course, you have to adhere to the top square there. So you start putting it onto there. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Back up to the other square. There we go. One, two, and three. Back to the current square. See, look, it's all connected now. And now we do that last corner. So one, two, three, four, and five. Typical. Yeah, into the corner, do your slip stitch or your chain. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. And then here, of course, is where we started. So go into that single crochet just so it doesn't expand. Do your slip stitch, and there we go. So, of course, sewing the ends now. <laughs> I've kept up with them, so I'm all good to go. This is the only one I have to do now. So now we have made, of course, let me show you, one square, two, three, and you need four of these squares. So now we are going to start adhering these squares to make a poncho. going to go about the assembly the same way as we did with the individual square so we're going to do another round this one here is my first panel so I'm going to go all the way around then I'm going to take another panel and then I'm going to use that round that I'm going to show you now to adhere to this one okay so let's get started so I'm going to do my slip knot insert my hook and to be honest we can get started anywhere but i'm going to get started close to the corner so i can show you how to do that so i'm just going to go around any chain space and i'm going to do a single crochet there we go so that's adhered now i'm going to do chain sixes three four five and six then you go and you do a single crochet around the next chain space one two three four five and six single crochet around the next chain space so this is what we are doing on the sides look i've got a little end hanging out i'll have to cut that off shorter then here we have the corner and so we are going to do a chain six one two three four five and six and we go and we do a single crochet around that corner chain space one two three four five and six and we are staying on the corner chain space to do another single crochet so we have made a little corner like so then we do one two three four five six and we move on to the next chain space so that we can get started on the next side. I believe that's six. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and a single crochet. So you keep going like this, six, until, of course, you reach where you started, which is here. Okay. Once you've done that panel, start another one. And come back to me when you have to do this side. So you do your start here, your two sides. And then when you're doing the corner here, come back to me because we will adhere it to this first one there. So I will see you in a moment. So here I have my first panel, which I have gone round all the way. 
And then here I am now ready with my second panel, which I've gone round this bit, then the side and the side. So I'm now ready to do a corner, but I'm going to start linking it into the loops of the previous square. So for the corner, instead of doing the six, I'm going to be doing one, two and three. Then link it into the corner there. Do your little chain, then one, two, three three and of course staying onto the chain space of the corner there do your single crochet one two three and around the next chain space one two three and around the next one so this is how you are going to continue one two three each time finding that next chain space to link the panels together. Working on the current square, then going over to the previous square. Oops, yeah. <laughs> so this is how you will be joining them. But of course, there's a particular way that you need to join them. Okay, so let me show you how to do that and then we will be off and we will have the poncho shape. location where you have more than one square meet so this is already another panel there you will have to just make sure that you choose to adhere in a location where it is sensible where you are adhering more than one so I think this location sort of has both of these panels into it so I am going to adhere mine there as well so just where you think it's the most logic to be honest there we go. And now two, three, five and six. Now we continue until, of course, we finish the round. When you've done your last chain and this is the start of your round, you just go under the V of that single crochet and you do a slip stitch to close the round. There we go. So here I have assembled three panels. This was my first one. Then I assembled this one onto it and that one there. So this is the front of the work. Now we're going to turn it all over. Okay, so this is now the bad side facing up. We are going to create the shoulders by folding over these bits here. And now we are going to Put the last panel in here there we go so this is now facing the right way up and I'm going to adhere these two sides so I will start here work my way along the two sides that we're not going to adhere to then adhere here and adhere there once I have done that I will have the shape of the poncho then we will finish it with more trellis and of course tassels so now that we have a poncho shape, I am going to go around with a couple of rounds of trellis. So I want the poncho to have a little bit of weight so that the flowers are more visible. So I'm going to show you in a moment how to do the trellis, how to do the corners, because there'll be two corners to deal with. And then, of course, that will be um, you know, also the location for the tassels. So let's get going on that. So let's get started on the trellis around the edge of our poncho. So make your slip knot, insert your hook, and you can get started anywhere really around one of the chain spaces. Go in and make your single crochet. Then we do chains of six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. 
then single crochet around the next chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet around the next chain space. And then you'll have two tips that you will have to deal with. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then here's the tip. You're just going to go and do a single crochet here. One, two, three, four, five, six and already we are going on to the other side so really we are not making an actual tip apart from the actual single crochet that you do there so in this round you won't have an actual tip in the next round you will so i am going to do this round and a next round so i will have the tip to hang the tassel off of course i think that doing this width with another round will be wide enough to sort of not be out of proportion for the amount of trellis you have in between the flowers so i think that will be perfect like that so i will meet you now when you have done your two rounds of trellis and you're ready to put the tassels on so when i started my second row of trellis i finished the way we did with that sort of half the chain amount and then a double crochet combination so i did three chains and then a double crochet where i should have put my single crochet there so then from there on i worked my second row of chains and then of course here on the corner i now have a corner so that is good for the tassel and so here i am now just finishing off that last little chain of six so let me just do it again one two three four five and six and then of course i'm going to go around the next chain space but in this case it's where i started my this round obviously so i'm going to go in here try it out see if it doesn't pull and that's fine and then I'm going to close the round. There we go. So now I have done an extra two rounds of trellis and I think we are ready for the tassels. <laughs> Now for the tassels, I have the infamous chocolates box, which I wind my tassels around. This gives me a revolution of about 30 centimeters, so that's ideal for tassels. A bigger hook to help adhere them to the poncho. Of course, my leftover yarn and my fabric scissors because they cut through multiple strands without any problem. So what we're going to do is because this is a uh, one color, you can just start winding and I wind until the whole box is full basically. Let me just do it quickly like this, like this. Um, and then I cut them all off and then I just count them. So then I'll just count off eight strands and then make a tassel and hang it on the poncho. When I have all this finished, I will then roll again. There we go. And then because you're just counting them off anyway, I just go under here and cut them off in the middle. Let me cut them off there first. Cut them off in the middle. There we go. And now I just count eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you hold your strands so they are equal length here. You take them like this. You put your hook through the loop. Bring through all your strands. Open up the loop like so. Put your fingers through and bring the large ends through your loop there and pull your tassel closed. So these tassels I've already done and I make sure that they are all with their front. This is what I call the front of the tassel. This look is the back are facing of course outwards on the good side of your poncho so i tend to just leave it lying down on the desk and i do the same 
way each time so that all my tassels look the same. And then I will cut them, but I do not cut them until I've worn it a couple of times that it's hung out a little bit so all the tassels have come down, they've relaxed a bit and I will only cut off sort of like this one, you know, the, the odd one out. That's what I will cut off, but all the rest just stays as they are. So I made this poncho for Rachel, but unfortunately when she tried it on, the neck opening was far too big. So as you can see, it is ready to fall off her shoulders. Now we were filming the lookbook in London and of course I did not have my crochet with me, but I did have one of those carabiners. So I held the back together with a carabiner, which you would have seen in the lookbook. But there you go, that was the situation there was nothing else we could do so I will show you in the next video how to sort it thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye